All right, so we've been getting a bunch of questions lately about how to use transitions in Premiere Pro and Adobe Premiere Rush. So today we're gonna be going over how to use our Super 8 Film Transitions Pack in Adobe Premiere Rush um, mobile app. So let's go ahead and get on our mobile device and I'll show you how to get started. Okay, so in the tutorial today, we're gonna be going over our Super 8 Film Transitions Pack, which is .mp4 files. So after you've downloaded the product, you can go find your product in my account. And then under the Downloads tab, and when you're ready, you can select the download link at the bottom. Um, I've already done mine, so it's in the top right, and I'm gonna go ahead and click the blue download button, and then select that. And here you have the zip file and the folder, and go ahead and open up the folder to see all the individual files. And to import these into Adobe Premiere Rush, you're gonna go ahead and select it, and go ahead and save the video. We're going to go ahead and do a few of these just to have a good example. And you can go ahead and save them all, but once you're ready, go ahead and load Adobe Premiere Rush. We can hit the plus button and add media to start a new project. And I'm gonna go ahead into the camera roll and add a few clips. Title the project, how to. And so I'll start with this. Now that I have my clips in, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the plus and then hit media. And I'm going to go into Dropbox, open up Super Film Transitions, open the folder, open the pack, and now you can go ahead and select whichever individual files you want. I'm going to go ahead and just add a few that I'll use for the video. Go ahead and add these into the, the project. And then from here, you can kind of rearrange everything um, by just selecting each individual clip and kind of playing with it. So let's go ahead and just look at a few of these transitions. So some of them will be great for intros or outros. Some of them are good for in between footage. And then some of them are also good as just backgrounds as well. So let's go ahead and play around a little bit with these. I think this is a good intro um, clip, so I'm gonna go ahead and hold on to it and drag it to the front. Um, and I'll bring one of those clips as well. I think will work well to start the video. So let's see how this looks. And you can also cut and manipulate the clips as well as the transitions so that it'll become a better flowing video if you want as well by holding down and expanding or extracting at the edges. And you can also use two fingers to scroll in and out to see more of the project if that helps as well. And to move the file, all you'll do is hold down and replace it on the left or the right of the next clip. So let's go ahead and see how this looks. Here you have a good solid intro and then it'll bring you the clip. Now we have a little cutscene. Brings you to the next part of the video. 
And these are good to just have in between as little fillers. And now that you have this, you can also add um, a song into the background as well. And that'll just tie the whole video together. Here you can see that the clips actually still have sound. So you can just select the mute button on that layer and now you can only hear the audio that you want to hear.